Hi, and welcome to this section of the Unit Conversion Tutor. And in this section, we're going to tackle the topic of converting units of volume between one another, okay? So in the last section, we talked about unit of area. And the section before that, we talked about the units of length. And now we're going to talk about just an extension of those two things, the units of volume. So let's talk about, before we actually do any problems, what is volume? And so you can visualize it and know what we're talking about as we, as we go along. Well, volume is a direct extension of surface area like we talked about before. If we were going to talk about the surface area of the square, how would we, how would we organize that? We would say that we had a length one direction and a length another direction, right? And together we multiply those things together and we get a, uh, a unit of area, okay? Now, that is going to be sort of like the how much paint we would, we would need or whatever to fill this cube. I mean the surface area of the square. Now if we take this square and we convert it into a three-dimensional object, right? Making a cube out of it, like this, okay? Now it has a third dimension, right? So instead of simply the, the length that it had before, and the, uh, let's call this the height, right, of the thing. It also has this, di this dimension here, which we're going to call, let's call it the width. It doesn't matter what you label them. It's just that you have a unit of length, a unit of width, and a unit of height. You have three uh, directions uh, that this cube is, is made up of, okay? So what you need to do is just realize that when you, when you actually multiply these things together, if you look at the formula for the volume of a cube, okay, it'll be simply length times width times height, right? Length times width times height. And the units of that would be, for instance, meters times meters times meters. The unit of length times the unit of length times the unit of length. Just like before for surface area, it was unit of length times unit of length. Now we're multiplying by a third one. So we'll get 